Hello everyone and welcome to Pendulum Edu and here in this session I welcome you to the vocabulary session with us and we are going to have a new set of words for you from this article for today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it right away so you can attend all the sessions. The article that we have taken for today heads as dealing with a deluge on Hyderabad flood. Now, dilute is the word that we, I guess, we need to know here from, it is a noun subject, okay, it's a noun. So, dealing with a dilute, why a, because this is a noun, so article has been used here, a. Now, Hyderabad flood, we all know that uh, the past two days, like, there was, in one day, the rainfall was equivalent to one month's rainfall. So it was an incessant rainfall. Incessant means continuous without any halt. So because of that, there's a deluge. So dealing with a deluge, deluge is a flood. All right. Baad jise hum kehte so another word for a flood will be deluge. So when I say dealing with a deluge, I mean that the that Hyderabad is dealing with a bar or a flood and it needs to overcome the effects of it now because whenever a natural disaster comes up, it brings a lot of uh, if impact that it uh, makes. Okay, So we need to actually, uh, the Hyderabad needs to uh, get over it now. As floods swarm Hyderabad, the focus is on the inadequacy of drainage infrastructure. Now you see right here it says as floods swarm Hyderabad, swarm is used as a verb here. Let us swarm, don't relate it to the swampy or marshy areas, swampy is an adjective. But when I talk about swamp, I mean it's, it's here it's used as a verb, which means to be or to overwhelm now generally what we do is we take overwhelm to be like in terms of happiness feeling joy so we are overwhelmed but it's not so it is not necessary that overwhelming would only be related to something that's happy or something that's joyous overwhelming could be number one in terms of feeling any sort of feeling whether it's happiness sadness or any other emotion Number two overwhelming will be when you're you're full of something like you have a lot of something you're enough with or loaded with a lot of things that moment also you're overwhelmed so what the floods overwhelm Hyderabad. उस समय उन्हें उसके इतना पानी था इतना पानी था that the Hyder that Hyderabad got overwhelmed it got swarm तो उसमें ये overwhelm word हम इस sense में use कर रहे हैं okay the focus is on the inadequacy of jahan par aap dekh rahe ho ki either hyderabad mein the the flood or the deluge has taken a toll matlab puri sthiti kar di hai the uh, attention goes towards the mismanaged you can say the mismanaged drainage infrastructure or inadequate drainage infrastructure that the that the city has a deep monsoon depression over the west central bay of Bengal, which weakened as it moved over Telangana, resulted in downpours over several districts in the state, severely affecting the city of Hyderabad as well. So here if you see the reason behind this flood has been given, it says that a deep monsoon depression was there uh, across the bay of Bengal and because of that there was a downpour in many or in various districts of uh, the city and the city is majorly impacted that's the Hyderabad city and the Telangana state now so downpour is a noun downpour means heavy rainfall jisko aap hindi mein kehte ho musla dhar barish usko english mein kaha jata hai downpour okay कि भाई मूसलाधार बारिश हो रही है सो इट्स 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 अ डाउनपोर इट्स अ डाउनपोर एन ईडियम इज आल्सो यूज्ड फॉर दिस इट्स रेनिंग कैट्स एंड डॉग्स सो कैट्स एंड डॉग्स आर नॉट रेनिंग इट्स एन ईडियम इट मींस इट्स रेनिंग हेविली ओके ऑन अक्टूबर 13 द मंथली एवरेज रेनफॉल ऑफ हैदराबाद 
for October, 103.6 mm according to SkyMet was surpassed on a single day when 192 mm of rain, for rain fell. So, uh, the average monthly average rainfall is 103.6 and in one day how much we got? 192 mm. So, you see for one month, as I said, for one month, it is also exceeding one day. So, it is greater than the one month's average. So, you see what impact it would have had on the city and the districts that are facing that challenge or that thing now. Uh, according to the India Meteorological Department, this is the highest rainfall for October recorded in Telangana's capital since 1903. So, uh, if you see, if we go back, the writer says, if you go back in 1903 and you have a look, then this has happened for the first time since then. Such a high intensity downpour in a short span is bound to affect a densely populated urban area and Hyderabad was no exception. Anyways, if such a heavy downpour is there, then definitely any state or any city would be affect, affected by it. So Hyderabad is no exception and it has to, uh, like this has to happen. At least 24 people were killed and several localities submerged and isolated. Submerged is a verb which means to be underwater. So dubna, just say in the way and isolated following incessant rains in the overflowing of cities. Incessant, many of you have said, incessant is an adjective, which means continuous. Hindi we say nirantar. Alright? Continuous, so in Hindi we say nirantar. So, continuous, incessant rain, that's why it was Mm, there were 24 people who died and uh, okay, uh, many uh, localities they submerged, they got dug gaye wo sare. Kaafi jo chote chote localities they wo dug gaye, pani mein hi dug gaye So see the impact that this uh, flood had or the deluge has like made. Moving ahead, the writer says other districts were badly affected too. Roads damaged and irrigation tanks breached. Breached, कहते हैं ना देखो breach वैसे तो वो होता है इसका मतलब होता है तोड़ना to break okay तो आप सोच रहे होंगे कि कोई contract कोई deal break कर दी हाँ जी वो भी हो सकता है पर यहाँ tanks भाई irrigation tanks टूट गए they were broken the monsoon storm that never became a cyclone has managed to cross the east and west coast of India जो कभी भी साइक्लोन नहीं बन पाया मॉनसून स्टॉर्म अब उसने ईस्ट और वेस्ट कोस्ट को सरपास कर दिया उससे आगे निकल आए दिस इज रेयर एंड रेन रिलेटेड डिजास्टर इवेंट दैट इज डिफिकल्ट टू प्लान फॉर नाउ दिस इज समथिंग दैट वाज अनसर्टेन नोबडी एक्सपेक्टेड दैट दिस वुड हैपन और दिस कुड हैपन तो ये क्या कह रहे हैं दे आर ट्राइंग टू से दैट दिस वाज अनसर्टेन and unexpected so to prepare for this to plan for this it is a bit difficult and it was difficult and at present also the state of the city is juggling with it it is struggling floods and deluges like any other disaster disproportionately affect the poor disaster management agencies have managed to limit the impact of the disaster as many of those marooned in submerged areas marooned is a verb which means left without help left without help kehte na asahai chhodna kisi ko asahai chhodna तो अगर किसी को आपने बिना मदद के कहीं अकेला छोड़ दिया है, तो that moment that person is marooned, okay? So what management disaster management agencies have done? They have managed to limit to limit the impact that the disaster 
has as many of those maroon in submerged areas and flooded houses were rescued to unko rescue kiya gaya hai jo wahan pe akele aur asahay chhod gaye the but the extent of damage and the turmoil 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 is a noun which means uh you can say a chaos or okay uh a situation which is or which in the walls which is which is in in uh, intolerant jo ki bahut इम्पेशन सी सिचुएशन आ गई है पैनिक सिचुएशन आ गई है कहते हैं ना उथल पुथल होना सो so, वो उथल पुथल जो है वो टर्म ऑयल होता ठीक है एक खेस की सिचुएशन आपके साथ सो द डैमेज इन टर्म ऑयल शो अ लैक ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एंड डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन ना लैक ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एंड डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन भाई इनकी कमी रही है मिटिगेशन इज नाउन जिसका मतलब होता है कम करना किसी का इम्पैक्ट कम करना तो वो कह रहे हैं कि इसकी कमी देखी गई है दे हैज बिन लैक ऑफ प्रिपरेशन डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन अ प्रॉब्लम दैट प्लैग्स मोस्ट अर्बन सेंटर्स इन द कंट्री दैट प्लैग्स प्लैग इज अ वर्ब आई एम वाइपिंग ऑफ द स्क्रीन एंड वर्ल्ड एन एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो प्लैग इज अ वर्ब okay so flag is a verb which means it's a verb which means to affect sorry to affect or impact badly kehte na kisi cheez ko kharab karna nuksan pahunchana okay nuksan pahunchana all right that's plag <clears throat> now and ye cheez ne ye jo problem hai isne zyada se zyada urban centers jo mostly jo urban centers hain country mein unko bahut buri tarike se impact already kiya hua hai much of the damage was due to the overflowing of lakes in particular the hussein sagar lake in the middle of the city and the breaching of storm water drain so there's a hussein sagar lake there in hyderabad and i have been there i must tell you so it's a beautiful beautiful lake and now there if you see because of the overflow water uh, the major or the most uh, i would say most debilitating debilitating impact has been there on this particular lake that is in the middle of the city having which is the necklace road there construction over lake beds and encroachments of drainage channels encroachment is a noun which means encroach aapne hindi mein word suna hai atikraman so atikraman so bina permission ke andar ghus jana so basically it's like to extend or move ahead beyond limits That is encroachment. Okay, आप लिमिट से ज्यादा आगे बढ़ गए तो वही ड्रेनेज चैनल जो है उनका भी इंक्रोचमेंट हो गया उससे भी बहुत पानी का लेवल बहुत ऊपर बढ़ चुका है सो हैव बिन आइडेंटिफाइड एज प्रॉब्लम दैट हैव एग्जैकबेटेड फ्लडिंग एग्जैकबेटेड मतलब और बुरा बनाना एग्जैकबेट इज अ वर्ब ओके इसका मतलब होता है टू वर्स इन अ सिचुएशन तो खराब करना और ज्यादा ठीक है बहुत ही ज्यादा खराब करना किसी चीज को सो इट हैज एग्जैकबेटेड फ्लडिंग एंड इनंडेशन इनंडेशन इज नथिंग बट एक्सट्रीम फ्लडिंग इनंडेशन इज अ नाउन व्हिच इज एक्सट्रीम और हाई इंटेंसिटी फ्लड्स ओके इन द सिटी इन द पास तो पहले भी ऐसा हो चुका है इन्होंने एग्जाम्पल दिया है अगस्त 2000 का जो कि जो डिल्यूज था जो फ्लड था मेजर इम्पैक्ट उसका भी इसी तरह से रहा और उसने भी सेम एज एफ वी आर टॉकिंग नाउ दिस थिंग एग्जैकबेटेड दिटीज सिचुएशन एंड कंडीशन सिमिलरली सेम थिंग हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड 
Moving ahead, the writer says, but the little has been done to unblock existing storm drains over the last decade has not been enough to handle the requirements of the city, which still depends upon an antiquated sewage. Antiquated is an adjective which means outdated or old-fashioned. Outdated, purana, old-fashioned, okay? So now these things, agar abhi bhi the drainage system hai, agar hum us par kaam nahi kar rahe, which we know there's a major reason behind over, behind the accumulation of water and thing. Still, the city depends on antiquated sewage and drainage system. There's nothing new. It's all like purana hai sab. It's outdated. Hyderabad urgently needs to expand and remodel its drainage system. Remodel is to remake or revive. ठीक है इट्स अ वर्क मतलब दोबारा किसी चीज को बनाना ओके किसी चीज को दोबारा से इन्वेंट करना नए तरीके से किसी चीज को बनाना बिसाइड्स लेक्स एंड कनाल्स वेटलैंड एंड वाटर शेड्स प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन एब्जॉर्बिंग एक्सेस रेनफॉल बट रिग्रेटेबली रैपिड अर्बनाइजेशन इन द ट्विन सिटीज हैज रिजल्ट लाइक ट्विन सिटीज हैदराबाद एंड सिकंदराबाद has resulted in the loss of a large portion of the wetlands but the urbanization if you see has taken place uh, over the years and now that the wetlands is that there's less of wetland okay there there's a reduction in the uh, in the extent or in the spread of the wetlands that were there in the portion or the space that the wetlands had they have been occupied by these buildings and other things so because of that the water could not be accumulate or the water could not be absorbed much an analysis by the center for science and environment in 2016 revealed that 3 to 4 5 hectares of water bodies were lost in hyderabad between 89 and 2001 see this much of water bodies were uh like loss in hyderabad between 1980 so 1990 to 2000 if you see that's just ma like 10 to 11 years maximum so in 10 to 11 years if you uh if you have uh, overtaken or you have uh like completely removed the water body then this much of area that's 3245 hectares so that's a huge loss okay in the long term the effects of flooding due to deluges can only be mitigated if urban planners take into account the hydrogeology of cities and ensure that construction development and land occupation do not take place in a way that reduces the area of wetlands so we have to work on hydrogeology that is a water geography it's hydro is related to water so water geography you have to see the geographical uh, area and you whenever we plan for urbanization the writer says it also suggests that one should be aware and one should be cautious that we're not affecting the wetlands we're not occupying the wetlands the area of wetlands uh, otherwise this will be this will be uh, this will be an, i i just wish to say that this will be something that we are we are rigorously uh, imp, uh, like harming our planet our uh our place and this is what the disaster or the natural disaster comes up because it's it's a punishment to us probably so this is the entire article that we had these are the words that i wish to discuss with you today and i hope that you got it and you understand it the list of the words is there in the description go to the link click on the link go to the site and get the list of the words to practice Not to forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Also subscribe the channel for regular sessions with us. I will see you soon in the next session. Thank you so much.